welcome back to Hearthfire Tales. Before we get started, just want to take a second to remind you to get tickets to our live show in May at Smock Alley Theater in Dublin. And bring your friends as well. They don't need to have listened to the podcast to enjoy it as we're doing a standalone adventure for the night. And the night itself is going to be a wacky, interactive night of D&D. So bring your character sheet, bring your costumes, and let's party. So with that, let's jump right back into Lethawan, a world of might, magic, and me, Ryan. The band are ready for their final showdown with Bellacor, the Mind Flare. Let's see if they have what it takes. Okay, you guys go into the river. You're kind of like pushed along by its current. You can't, you probably have to hold Fink up so that he doesn't drown, yeah. essentially. Yeah, Fink bowed, hop my shoulder. After like not too long, semi submerged, kind of just, you know, kind of like crouch down to get through this tunnel, you come through another tunnel, you know, into somewhere where you can pull yourself up into like the stone bank. You begin to walk and on it's weird it's like half where the rapport spores are half where your own mind is you feel like kind of a pressing in he can't quite get in but he's like again like knocking you can choose to let him either into the rapport spores and talk to everyone or choose to let him join or you can just choose to rebuff him okay well you know what we're a party let's put it to the party uh sorry folks just a quick in river announcement if you look to the center of my mind uh, you'll see that Bellacor is knocking on the door, asking to be let in. I can I can have a chat with him myself, or I can let him into the uh, the circle if you'd like. I think it might be advantageous to not let him into our circle because that's our advantage. I mean, like the whole stealth element. So, like talking with the person that we're hunting. Oh, well, I'm I'm gonna straight up tell you that he he knows where I am. He can he can tell where I am. But well, I think then you go that way. <laughs> oh, that's actually not a bad idea. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. Move away from no, the party. No, we won't split the party. I don't think I'm splitting the party. I'm just moving a distance away from you. You're like, separating. Like yeah. you're just yeah. Just to cloud his idea of where you guys are as well. Yeah. Um, come in. Ah, yes. Finally you've come. You come, but Bastion. I uh, my name isn't important. It really isn't. <laughs> Sensing my weakling sister, which you um, she's been a lot stronger than you have, Ball Licker. What do you expect she can do? She was too weak to stand up against those who hunted us. I wanted to destroy them, stand, fight, but no, she fell upwards. Did you? She said the sun in its delusions. Did you destroy them? <laughs> of course. All right, yeah, that's pretty, pretty sad, really, isn't it? Down here is where I found strength. Strength I knew I needed to one day claim back what is mine, what has been taken from me, what I've lost. And what have you lost, Blacker? <laughs> everything. I will make you lose everything. Alright, I've done that once before. Come closer. Test your strength against the might of my mind. The mightier mind. Well, so far, your mind has been pretty pitiful. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you tried to get into my dreams? Like, honestly, how many times did you try before I even realized you were there? And now I... you invite me in. I don't... You know you feel it too. I, mean, I feel it's a little gnat in the back of my head. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Give me this. Give me that. I've lost everything. Boo hoo. Now I'm complaining. I mean, I'm not. I'm not worried. Blacker. I'm really not like I had to literally open the door for you because I felt sad you couldn't get in you understand that now look I've come down here and I'm gonna try and help you if I can because I understand you're probably angry help me. I help you the only one that can help anyone is themselves I find that quantifiably false Bellicor. we will see and he leaves that's he's such an edge lord. <laughs> Just, oh my god. All right, look. Why did you have a nice chat with him? I did, yeah. <laughs> you call it a chat. He's such an edge lord. Listen, I feel like he's try harding with just, let's just cut through the shite, go in, kick the absolute fuck out of him, and then try and make him see sense. Yeah, I mean, 
Just a sober and slap up. That's what this guy deserves. Every goth needs a good ass kicking. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I will feed on him as he is attempted to. No, think, 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 think. What? We can't feed on him just yet. I disagree. <laughs> That's very reminiscent of what I just said to him, actually. <laughs> Funnily enough. Here, let's have a game plan. I think it's got to be very simple, right? I'll hold his focus. He seems to dislike me. Most of all. Does he dislike you or does he have a crush on you? I mean, you know, you go hard enough in one direction and you find yourself out the other, you know what I mean? Yeah, like it it seems like it's difficult to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh look, maybe we can use that. But I do think we have a couple of aces in our hole here. One, we've got Mike over there, fucking accuracy international. Two, we've got yourself. I think Sonny, he knows you're here, I'm afraid. He could sense you. I'll protect you with that same spell, but do keep your head down and then maybe Maybe we can use our new potions and really give as good as we get with them. Distract them. Knock them the fuck out because let's face it, there is going to be a level of physical violence that will put this guy out of it. Hey, Sunrise, would you maybe be able to, throughout the fight, like just think a lot about your favorite memories you had with him? The good ones, as few as they may be. And remind him of those times. Yeah, you see kind of like like a flurry of images like get like sent to your, like to each of your mind's eyes and... It's not the images of them at home with Vanya and Aaron. It's the images of how like they helped each other survive for the first couple of years and stuff like that. Mm. Where like you know he maybe like killed something and like was feeding her, or they they're both like caring um, for each other. And yeah, she kind of like nods and kind of you can tell she has them at the ready. Nice couple of general pulses of joy in general. Remember that. Remember how the Nadini felt when they were partying while we were there. That general camaraderie and goodness yeah that kind of stuff get that ready kind of like get like happy thoughts ready basically yeah nice all right any questions anyone you tell us when to stop killing him because yeah we'll do think and i probably need a stopping point yeah uh <laughs> no problem no problem i'll uh we'll use the code word stop <laughs> yeah that works all right um i'm gonna come in here absolutely fucking hot and heavy like my plan here is going all guns blazing so I got a good rock. Yeah, absolutely. Have you got a few of them? You might. There's going to be a couple of rounds here. I, I, I got, got two hands. hands. Yeah. All right. Cool. All okay. right. If we're about to go in, uh, think. Why don't you go watery? Okay. I think. think. Yeah. He's probably not going to be doing a lot of close range fighting. Uh, what I might do though is just to get back my spell slot. I might neck my. You want to leave? Will it get me back a spell slot? No. Yeah, no, I'm, oh, you want your spell slots? Oh, I I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, actually, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a leave. I'm happy I just to say you guys, half my health is gone. I'm to say you guys have taken a short rest. Um, okay. and that means you can attune to your new magic items as well. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, Mike? Yeah? You remember when you put those spores in my nose and I couldn't move? Yeah? Can I, um, can I have some of them? Um, I, I mean, yeah, yeah I guess. I guess. Uh, hold, hold out your hand. hand. Wait, hold out my hand. <laughs> <laughs> just... It's not rockets onto your hand. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, I, what's the best way to hold these? I, I take out a little vial or something. I wouldn't get them close to your, to your, to your face there. But... Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, I just put them in like a little, you know, a cup or something I have in my bag. Some kind of container. I said, Sid, do you have any sample jars or something I can... Sid probably has a lot of pockets. But yeah. I don't know about jars. But um, give you a little bag. Here's a little bag. I just need something I can keep them in. A little baggie for the mushroom spores. Yeah, why not as the drug dealer? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Well, he seems to keep them in his nasal. <laughs> but he probably has... I think that's something I can use just to... Like a dime bag? Hold these or something real quick. <laughs> do you... Do I fucking look, look like, like I'm made, made of pockets and shit? Get, get you fucked. look like you're made of mushrooms. All right. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Um, fine. Fine. I, I'm, I'm going to put them in my flask. Mix them in with the drink in my flask. You do whatever you want, bud. Will these still work? Fuck if I know. All right, what, well, what do you miss at? It's, uh, liquor. Liquor. What the fuck is liquor? Oh, man. Uh, nothing. Fucking, okay, that's half ball liquor. Yeah, I know. I'm going to try and rejoin the two. Um, all right. I'm going to reintroduce them. You're weird. Yeah, not as weird as you, mushroom head. Uh, I don't know. Right, yeah, you know what I've realized, guys? Actually, without the rapport spores, I already knew everything that was fucking being said. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, I'm surprised on. by none of this. Lads, let's just fucking get this over with, all right? Fucking calm, Greystone! And I, I charge in. Okay. Tell you what, we'll roll initiative. 
right now, and then I'll go into the description of what you see as you go around. Yeah, what is this fucking edge lord doing in his cave? One hundred percent, he stood in the middle of it. I'm like, guessing he's sitting there playing a fucking big pipe organ. <laughs> Yeah. No, he's got like a... His tentacles he, are playing at Daily Jones. He's looking over his style. Magic Gathering collection as he's got like a big anime titty playmat. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, 100% whatever he's doing, he's going to be faced away from us when we come in here. All right, here. Roll initiative. God, I just can't get a good roll. Do I get advantage on my initiative because I'm charging into the room screaming? He can't anticipate that. He definitely can anticipate that. Well, I just rolled a nat 20. Makes it a 23. Nice, nice. And what about Fink? Uh, he only got a um, 7. A 7. You got nat 20. God. And so that's what, like a 24 for you? Uh, 23. 23. Con? I wish I rolled as high as Fink. Famously rolling very well initiative lately. Yes. Number 5 is alive. <laughs> 5, wow. 5 plus your initiative, like, oh. as in you rolled like... I rolled a 4. Oh. You only get a plus one, to initiative. Only get a plus one to initiative. Yeah. Ooh. I know. For the amount that like Jim describes Con being able to do backflips and stuff, his stats do not no. match that you at all. You have the decks it, uh, of a turtle. <laughs> it takes me a while to get rolling. <laughs> it's just the slowest rotation. It's a mom- No, it's, it's like a momentum buildup. I'm, I'm old. I got to do a warm up. So the initiative roll is low. I do have a plus five or something to my acrobatics. As you guys are like walking along this tunnel, along this like dark passageway, you see kind of like light and it's not the like the bioluminescent light that's kind of been lighting up a lot of these passageways it's more of like a a harsh what we would know as like an artificial light more so it doesn't have like the flickering of a candle or you know the slight waviness of a torch or something like that and you rend this corner and you come to a large open cavern and within this cavern lies what can only be described as a laboratory. There are like workbenches and like bookshelves everywhere. You see against the wall, there's like vats lining the wall, each with like a glowing purple stone attached to it. And like, this looks like incredibly like sophisticated, like Magitech, something that like you guys have like heard of that's been like maybe like being developed in like Valega and like the capital city. And in these vats against the walls, floating in a liquid suspended, you see brains floating in them and on the desk you see another brain with what looks to be maybe like nerves and spinal cords hanging from it and working on it is Bellacor. and he looks up stands up as you come into sight clicks his fingers gestures with a spell raises into the air about 10 feet come then let us see if you are ready for the ultimate feeling of loss come on your fears. First up is Sid. Let's fucking go. Ooh, I'm just absolutely dropping into stance. I see he's up floating and I need to stop him quick. So I know we talked about non-lethal, but I'm going headshot sharpshooter right away. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter's Mark with it yep. as well. Mm-hmm. That is a nat 20 on that Holy very first roll. Holy shit. That is insane. Uh, <laughs> roll us. Yeah, roll your damage. You... You just like dart forward, maybe like, you know, finally now you get to come face to face with the That's person who has fucking plagued you for days now. He's almost ruined relationships I've had with, you know, my teammates, yeah. things like that. We're going. That That's 52 points of damage. <laughs> what? Oh, because cause the sharpshooter and then Sharp- doubled? The sharpshooter and doubled. If Holy you- fuck. Wow. Yeah, so Sid goes down into this stance immediately. Khan sees a look come over Sid of just absolute seriousness and rage and sees the entire fear of the situation that they had been talking about gone come face to face with this as Sid just drops down and tries to headshot this guy. You see, you rush out, let loose this, like, you know, mark him magically with your, with your hunter's mark, uh, let loose this arrow. He, like, barely managed to just like get up a like an arcane shield and that like your arrow like essentially pierces through it somehow and like slits like cuts by on like his cheeks like sitting his cheek and he looks pissed and i look at him and i say con was right nothing but a scared little kid he like he basically 
wordlessly just screams out this like now that you're getting like you've gotten closer there's just been like, this kind of like sense of like ominous dread and you, you guys have been like trying like to fight off you're staying in your rapport spores which is essentially now you're like your happy pace but like as you're like seeing him now and getting close and seeing all these like weird fucked up experiments around it's gonna be initiative step 20 it's gonna be the layer action his aura of despair just blasts you all I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw 16 16 is good all right Dirty 20 for Fink, uh, mm-hmm. 13 for Sid. Sid, he forces all of this like fear and despair onto you mainly. You're like the only one who's failed this. Mechanically, you are frightened of Bellacore. You okay. cannot actively go towards him. It is taking all of your like willpower just to stay and not flee. And the attacks you have against him were at disadvantage now. Okay. As you were like shaking, trying to like aim at him. Luckily, I got like five turns <laughs> yeah, that was huge, like absolutely huge. You see from one of these benches, two more of those brains on feet come out and start rushing towards you. They're going to go for Con. Okay. And they're going to rush up. Uh, no, I'm going to... I brought purple dice to use for Velikor. <laughs> going to switch to them because they are doing nothing for me. Uh, but these two intellect devourers have come and are on you. Next in initiative is... Sorry, they both missed me. They both missed you. Yeah, I'm going to blow uh, Repoke someone. Yeah, nice. Go for it. Ugh, not one. Never mind. You, you missed. Like, you were kind of like... You got to use all of your focus to like kind of rebuff this or of despair. These guys are attacking almost at the same time. Can't quite get a, a proper attack yeah, off yeah, that's them. Fair. That's fair. Melody and Sun are on the next initiative step. And you hear in the in the rapport spores you're also kind of you're feeling like you know these kind of warm positive thoughts from some but they're like yeah. they're not quite enough to like overpower what's going on and melody's like okay, okay i'm i, I, gotta, I, I think, think i have, I have something, something for this. this and they take out an electric guitar nice. from their oh, bag nice singing over her shoulder and like uh okay okay w- uh, what have i got here what have i got here and you see that they run over to like one of like the sides where there's like you know these lights coming from there's like some sort of like arcane battery and they go like um maybe this is working kind of like just like grab a wire like shove it into their guitar and just like let out a massive power cord I so love it. what Melody is going to do for this fight, basically you guys now have like a pool of inspiration. You are constantly inspired by Melody. You can use up to five uses of their inspiration, but maximum, but you can use it any time. So you just have that. You guys are like permanently inspired. Sick. If their concentration breaks, if they get attacked by anything, then that will drop and they'll have to use a full action to like basically start playing again. If their concentration maintains, they'll be able to use their music to like actually cast spells, heal people and stuff like that and kind of, you know, do their whole support role. Next up is Fink. Yeah, Fink just saw, you know, him blast like this fear thing. Fink was not at all afraid and also doesn't like dudes that fly. Uh, you know, as we saw with the uh, Thunderhawk or Th- Thunderslash. Thunder yeah. Thunderslash. Actually very good that you chose water as your first thing. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, so he's going to try and blast him out of the air because mm-hmm. he doesn't like that. But nobody's really close to him at the moment. No. No, he misses. He's worried about uh, Sid. So he uh, runs over to where Sid is getting, like, freaked out. Okay, yeah. Fink does nothing. It is then Bellacor's turn. Actually, sorry. At the end of Fink's turn, Bellacor is going to use a legendary action. Okay. And you see as he's floating up, uh, this dagger starts to, like, load up from one of the desks and flies out and it's going to be at you Sid for shooting him so he's going to make an attack roll against you fucking <laughs> not not one um he like yeah, Fink shoots it out of the air yes nice perfect it was going right for you and like Fink has like last minute last minute like I will save you Sid and like <laughs> spits water and hits it out of the air but then it's Belcor's turn Describe to me your guys' formation. I know you in the prep you said that Khan is going to be slightly away from people. Everyone else is kind of well, together. What's Melody's kind of run off to the side now. Uh, what's everyone else doing? The way I see it is I've gone straight for him. So I'm kind of in front of him. Front and center. And the others are kind of flanked out to the sides, right? Sid's right in the doorway. As soon as he walked through the door and saw him, yeah, he just, he just dropped to just, his knee. Yeah. I would imagine that uh, Sun has probably stayed 
behind. He's kind of helping, like, yeah, holding back a little bit for sure. And Mike would yeah. be at the exact range I have of to a add, rock. I have to add Mike into this initiative. I pre-rolled oh, yeah. initiative and obviously didn't think for Mike, so... <laughs> How could you not think? I can't believe you didn't anticipate this. I, I honestly, I don't know. Um, Mike will throw a rock. That twenty. No, a five. <laughs> he's, he's, he got feared. Actually, you're gonna see if Mike got feared. Yeah, yeah. Mike's terrified. <laughs> he's, he's like, uh, no, I'm, I'm not, not really feeling this, lads. Um, just not, not, not for me. You're fine. Hold on. Ah! Uh, and then it's better course turn. So he is going to like, again, levitate a little bit higher. So he's maybe like 10, 15 feet in the air. He's going to go towards you so that he gets you all in a cone. He's going to use his mind blast ability. Mm. So I need Sid, Fink, and Khan to all make intelligence saving throws. Oof. Yeah, 60 foot cone. He definitely has enough to, God, to get you not all. One. Not one? Yeah. Um, Wait, Fink uh, as well? Yeah, not one. Fink as well. I get plus one with my ring, but minus one on my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better than think when it comes to intelligence, because okay. he's a rat, as as you know. Uh, mm. So, Sid got seventeen. So imagine he's all right. Seventeen passes. Think got a dirty one. Dirty one. Oh no, <laughs> he's got a minus three to intelligence. <laughs> Everyone who fails takes twenty-one points of psychic damage. Yeesh. And you are stunned. Fuck's sake. You can repeat the saving throw on your turn. At the end or the beginning of your turn? At the end of your turn. Cool. See y'all in 25 minutes, guys. You have a pool of inspiration from Melody. Yeah. Melody can also use their action to try and basically power court people back into, okay. the, into the fray. So not all is lost, mm. but it's also not great. Con, it is your turn next. Yeah, I'll just um, I'll do the, the saving throw again. Yep. 14. Is that enough? Good. Or you can't tell me if it's enough before I. I'm going to use the inspiration anyway. Cool. Oh, okay, five. That's 19. You pass. Nice. Okay. Um. So you are fine. You can take reactions and stuff now uh, mm. again, but that that was your turn. Yeah. You see from another benches, two more of the, these Bellicorian thralls stand up. Kind of, you see now, like, their eyes are like purple. You can, like, see the telltale kind of, like, hint of, like, the, the intellect of errors attached to the base of their skull and also you see that the the brain that had like the spinal cord and all these like nerves and stuff floats up from the table now and you see it has like a wicked beak on it as they all go in and approach you on. <laughs> fine fine bring it on brain boys this was this was the promise made the promise made was a fight between me and Bellicor, not me and a load of brain boys uh what's your ac 17 one hit, two hits against you. How many attacks, sorry? That was four attacks. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to repost. Well, sorry, who missed? Both of them. So both of the trolls attacked you and both missed once. Okay, I'm going to... They have multi-attack. Repost one at the end. Never mind. Here, change my dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my con dice. It's got me this way. You take 19 points of damage. 19. And then this beaky brain boy comes in and tries to like uh, attack you with its tentacles cool 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 it's only two thirds of my health gone already i don't i don't know that oh boy that is a hit with a 23 to hit mm. yeah, yeah that would hit me actually you take seven that. points of damage and you need to make a constitution saving throw they can't yeah sid looks him and goes panda walks into a bar <laughs> yeah i'm ignoring the brain boys i want the joke <laughs> It eats, shoots, and leaves. Eats, shoots, and leaves. <laughs> I make the throw. Uh, 22. Yeah, you're fine. You feel it's got like, its tentacles are basically like nerve endings and kind of like mixed with like various unnatural capillaries and like veins and stuff like that. Yeah. That each have like, you know. It's like a Portuguese like, man of war floating around it, in the air. Essentially. And he's got like, you know, it's got like these like barbs and stuff on it that are trying to like, inject toxins into you, but you are, you are fine. However, you are grappled, uh, and then it will try to bite Grapple, you. Grappled by it? Yes. So it's got, like, tentacles on you, uh, and it's going to try to bite you. This is rough for Khan. I've had a rougher. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. As it starts pecking into you. It is the top of the round. It is Sid. Hey, uh, Khan. Sorry about this, but I'm not sure I can get a cone that doesn't involve oh you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Go for it. But this seems like a better idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm so surrounded. I might be fine. So, 
I'm going to shoot at the one that has him grappled, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to hail of thorns, which should hit everything and Bellicor. Yes. Yeah, I'll say that's fine. Yep. Yeah. It, but I can't think of a way to not hit him. No, yeah. Like you'll, you, yeah you have to hit him. I've yeah. got nothing left anyway that can help. So we're we're going to do that, though. It's, it's fine. Go for it. I have. Does a 15 hit the Beak Boy? 15 hits Beak Boy, yes. Good. So that's 12 points of damage to Beak Boy. And then all of them will take... Do they need to make dexterity saving throws? They need to make dexterity saving throws. All of them. First roll fails. Second succeeds. A big boy Con, succeeds. Con fails. A con fails. Because apparently Con's dice has given up on him. Right when he needed it the oh, most. Oh, no. Do you, do you all know what you're needing to roll against? I'm guessing I rolled it's... like a, a two and then like a 17 and an 18, so I'm... It's a 13. Okay, nice. yeah. Because it is fairly high for a ranger spell save, so... Wait. You all take the, eight. Um... If, you, if you fail... A fail is eight. Oh, Bale then Khan's down in any in any case. Yeah, I was afraid that might happen, but um, down. Yeah, you did in the. You did fifty five points of damage to me in the first turn. Holy shit! If only you had <laughs> things like healing potions or. And, and, and oh, you, I was you're stunned. stunned. Oh, 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 that's that's very bad. He said, but, as if it wasn't of his own making. But you know. Bellacore is 15 feet in the air, so he doesn't get an attack of opportunity as I run over to mm. Con. Yep. But it, a lot of these things took eight points of damage. Yep. They did. And Beak Boy took another 12 on top of that. And no, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that. Yeah. Uh, are you running over to... Oh, no, because that's your bonus action and your action. I'm just making... I mean, I don't have to run over. I'm just making sure I'm close to... Mm. Mm-hmm. It is the lair action. You see that the... The thrall, one of the Bellacorians, now goes and looks at you, Sid, as like the next threat, and walks over and will try to take an attack on you. But it misses completely. It is then the intellect of errors that are on Khan. Yeah. You see one of the intellect of errors latches onto the back of Khan's head. Yeah. And you see Khan rise and turn around and walk towards Sid. I've been waiting for this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You've already killed me! (laughs) Yeah, I won the last round. (laughs) Con, would you please make a melee attack against Sid? With disadvantage as the brain isn't used to your body yet. Okay. Modifiers and everything? Yep. Uh, That is a 19. That hits. Okay. Roll your damage. You're not going to use your additional new item or anything like that? No, not on him. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm just wondering. Does every bit of damage I take here now count as a dead fail? Maybe. <laughs> that is 11 points of damage. I'm a conby. Like a zombie. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> okay, 11 points of damage. That's not bad. That's what I said at the start of my last turn. Uh, and then the other one will also run at you, Sid. Actually, we'll run a Fink. So nice that you're referring to me as one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would be in between because I started to move toward. You did, yes. You take four points of damage oh no because you got disadvantage on it because i will use my okay nice that misses yeah but then it needs to make dexterity throw or be restrained which it fails so it is restrained until its next turn it is melody and sun how does death saves work for me then am i rolling them anyway or am i just it's a you're not fail. dying yet. it is like basically it's keeping exactly. your body in stasis but if you start getting hit you will yep. okay. go down functionally being knocked to zero has mean that you're like Open incapacitated to. and so it had no nothing to stop it okay clamping cool, 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 cool. in it is melody and son's turn you see son kind of seeing you go down like starts freaking out like she's like getting like really like upset by like the or of despair and, and seeing everything mm. go down and she runs over to towards where melody is and like melody's beside one of these vats with the brains in them and you know like there's like sparks and shit coming off like melody's guitar love it and you see that like this purple stone would you guys like probably recognize as a very similar purple stone to the one that was used to steal your thoughts back in on the road from hofton mm. and as sun rushes over there's like an explosion of energy from it as like basically melody's guitar starts to like overload this fat and this like vision explodes into everyone's minds through the rapport spores Suddenly, you feel that familiar sensation that you've had through the rapport spore. You are a mushroom, a mic. Everything is fine. Life is good being a mushroom. You send out your little spores. You make new friends. Those friends send out more spores. 
and more people join your circle. Mm. Everyone is called Mike, and you're just having a good time. Mm. Then one day, you send out your spores as you do, and this time, they don't meet a friend. They meet someone who is most definitely not a friend. This is a weird sensation to you for... You are a mushroom. Everyone likes you. You are by very definition, and even if you don't fully understand the concept of gender, you're a fun guy. And this voice <laughs> speaks in your head harsher, and it does not want to be called Mike. You approach it, and suddenly you're cut off from your friends, from your circle. You reach out farther. Mike? 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 No answers. You feel alone. You feel a sense of loss. You feel a sense of craving from this other voice. Ah, yes. Delicious. And the vision fades. As this, like, vision, like, in, like, an instant gets, like, ejected into everyone's minds. Melody reels back, looks at Yukon, and casts whole person. Ugh. You, right now, because the intellective error is taking you over, roll a wisdom saving throw. Your modifier for this is minus four. Uh, that's a two. That's a minus two. <laughs> You are held in place. Aye. Um, Do zombies maintain their accent? Aye. <laughs> you see Mike's like, fucking hell, this is shit. Runs over to you, knowing what to do and how to prune these things. Goes, rips out the, the thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's like, uh, 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 you got some way to get him up? I don't really, I, I can't really do much else. But he kind of like stands there like over your body, like in a, like, a protective stance. Cool, Can I free man, action man. toss a thing to him? I do, like, I have my potions on my belt as well. Yeah, he's got potions in his belt. I have I'm the potion say... of greater healing on my hip leg. Roll that the potion of greater healing then, Jim. Yes, Mike. Thank you, Crafting Magic. Thank you, Crafting Magic. Holy that shit, is yeah. eight, eight, wow. 12, 16. Plus four. Plus four. 20. Get 20 points of HP back. Woo! One attack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's an eighth of a turn. Uh, okay. And then it is Fink's turn. Uh, yeah, Fink sees things coming at, uh, Sid. How many of those are still alive over there? You have, like, there is one of those intellect fairs coming after you. The other one has been, like, ripped out, is essentially dead. Like, once it's mm. kind of, like, done its, it's thing, used. It, it, it's used, it's yeah. gone. Yeah. There's one trying to attack you that has attacked you. There is another troll that went up and attacked you, and the other one and the Beaky Boy is still kind of in the middle with Bellacore. Yeah, I think is gonna go after Bellacore anyway. Mm, okay, he is like 10 feet, of, oh, he's got water gun. He's water gun. Yeah. Yeah, so that's no problem. But he doesn't have advantage. No. So maybe he'll go at at the Intellect Devourer. No, the Thrall. Because the Intellect Devourer is restrained at the moment. Yes, by your by your webs. Yes. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I forgot you gooped him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So gonna go with the throw. Go for our gun. That's a nat twenty. Oh, Jesus Holy Christ. shit! Yes. It's twenty eight points of damage at the throw. Twenty eight points of damage. Two d six plus six. Down. <laughs> nice. It's, it's down. Drowns it. <laughs> yeah. You just absolutely blast. Like, think like you hear in the reports where he's like, "No, only I can knock down Con. <laughs> that is my right." And he lets loose this, like, huge, like, hydro pump of a water gun that, like, is so forceful, just, like, s like smashes the guy into the wall, like, holds him in place for a second and, like, crumbles wow. down. Bro, I mean never to... <laughs> Sorry, also, thank you, Mike, so much. Um, bro, I mean never to fuck with Fink again. That's I love that you also thing in heard room. Fink say, it's my right to take yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> because he just saved me a little, I'm not going to pick up on that too hard. We will fight for Sid's love and friendship. <laughs> Die. That we will. But let's uh <laughs> let's survive this first. Oh, forget, forgetting Bellicor's lair or not lair actions, uh, legendary actions. He is going to continue to try and throw knives at you. Actually, you know what? What? He's going to try throw a knife at Melody for like basically fucking with his experiments. Uh, that will hit. No, it won't. Um, no. <laughs> it, it will. <laughs> I appreciate the sass, but it, it does hit. Okay, Melody takes a little bit of damage. It's not too bad, but they will need to make a concentration check to keep their shredding going. Which they pass fine. Yeah. They kind of like, they're like windmilling and like their hair just like knocks it aside. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> and then it is, it is his turn. His mind blast does not recharge. You see that he like pulls back. He is going to cast, he sees you come up, Con. Hmm. He's going to cast Ray of Enfeeblement on you. Of course he is. Fucking, of course he is. Right. I'm going back to calling them names. 
so yeah this like big black beam of energy like just so edgy um shoots out from his finger uh, towards you okay i need to make a ranged spell attack against you it hits with a 24 you now only deal half damage with weapon attacks that you strength until the spell ends. Oh, okay, that's fine. At the end of your turn, you can make a constitution saving throw against the spell. Cool. And um, does that count as an attack? Uh, it was an attack, yes. Right, I go invisible. Yeah, you do. Yeah, he hits you. Um, yeah, yeah, it's an attack. He hits you, you turn invisible. Yeah, I'm sorry, did that do damage to me? No. No, just enfeebled. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool, so cool, you cool. do half damage now. Is he going to be allowed to fight in this <laughs> fight? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. That's, like... that's, that's how it works. Khan doesn't get to fight. As if I had been... It's not as if I hadn't been absolutely playing up the fact that oh, all Belcor wants is Khan. He fucking hates him. He's doing his absolute best. Yeah. Therefore, I got to do my absolute best to no, kill him. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, so, so bring it. I will. Once, it, I, once I catch my breath, I will. It's your turn. It's my turn. Belcor is, what, 10 feet up in the air? Yeah. 15. Or is it down? Sorry, 10. 15. 15. Okay, I have... There's a, there's a table? Yeah. Okay. Invisible. I'm assuming yep. I don't take an attack of opportunity because I'm invisible from any... You do, but they're at disadvantage. I'm invisible? Really? Yeah. He's invisible. I'm fully invisible. That's that's the rules. Yeah, fuck the rules. OGL 2.0. Disadvantage okay. should be like triple disadvantage. Right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I am going to get up on the table, mm -hmm. like spring off the table up towards Bellicor. I will say that you don't need to like leave their... Oh, oh, I'm area? still in the... Okay, yeah, cool. So that you won't get the attacks of opportunity. So he doesn't know where I am. Yep. Um, so you make this with advantage. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to get up on the table. I'm going to jump at Bellacor. I'm going to drop my invisibility. Mm -hmm. Um. So he sees me coming, and I am going to throw a huge attack at his right-hand side. Okay. And I'm going to yell out and be like, I, Bellacor, you thick fuck, block this. And I'm going to swing it as hard as I can. And then at the last moment, I'm going to... Pull the blow, not attack him, land in a roll, and use a commanding strike to let Sid attack the mm, open side. Nice. Sid, you do get I still, to attack so, him. Do I still get it? So I get advantage on that? Uh, yeah. Well, you will because he's he's I there. deliberately yeah. swung for the side to open him on the side that... I think it's a, it was a Sid cool enough wasn't. thing that I will give you advantage for sure. Cool. Well, then, yeah, sharp I shooter. Think, yeah, and you get a D8 on it as well. Yeah. And don't forget you have... Tools of inspiration. Mm, yeah. One of which has been used, so you have four left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2d8, 2d6. Is that your bonus action as well to use commanding strike? No, no. It's, it's, if, it's like forego my action. Yeah, cool. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to bring the potion. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 21 to hit. 21 hits, even, even with shield, I can't get to a 21. 20 hits, roll your damage. Okay. It's 26 points of damage. I rolled a one on, the, on your d8. Oh. My dice aren't rolling well, though. Yeah. No, they're, they're really not. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm enfeebled. I'm not rolling well. I'll let him do the damage for me. Smart, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you get to do a constitution saving throw to... Shake off the enfeeblement. Shake off the enfeeblement. The DC is 15. Oh, not 20. Fucking you... Back in the fight. Back in the fight. Are uh, you taking a potion? I am indeed. Um, what potion have I got with me? Can I just use some of the leaves? Do I have some of them on me, or you would? But I, I imagine. I mean, we got five healing potions, oh, four yeah, greater did. healing yeah, okay, potions. I'm gonna snag another. Sorry, <laughs> it's because you gave us two physical props. Sorry, I'm like, oh, we have two potions. Yeah. Another ten points. Another ten points of healing. I get these guys a lot of potions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for reasons. That is the Bellacorian's turn. One of the trolls is Gonzo. You see, it was like a, it was a drow. It had some fungal growths and stuff on it it's obviously one that they, they have like a mic that they've stolen that he's stolen yeah the other one is on you sid uh but will leave your area and go for con cool okay oh we're leaving my area yes oh what up bitch are you taking an attack of opportunity do i get to use my bow on that He's leaving a five meter area. I mean, it's literally like shooting the broad side of a pine. By the rules, no, but that's kind of dumb. So I'm going to say he's technically leaving the five meter or five foot area. You could just wait. Which yeah, makes, makes me, half the distance. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait until he goes 10 feet away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's something like by the rules. No, but you like it doesn't really make sense in this thing. He's, scenario, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, go for it. OK, cool. 18 to hit. Two tens on the dice doesn't hit you. 16 and 16. 18 hits. Nice. 
That's 12 points of damage, though. You pierce that right true. It is not looking great. You see that this is like, like I can say, this spell card is like, is an, an actual mic, like a mushroom mic. Yeah. Uh, not quite as big as, as mic, but still like yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. big. And runs forward. You shoot him an arrow, but trying to like, distract him from attacking you, Con. And he misses, but then the... Uh, but, uh, he does walk towards me and miss. Yes, so you can either repost or, or brace. Or brace. Yeah. Dealer's choice. Um, I don't think there's any... I think they're functionally basically they the exact same, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, so I just smack him. Um, or I try to. Nope. Dice is fucking me over Jesus. again. Well, How what did you every... roll? You ha I rolled a two. Mm, okay, yeah. Unless I get advantage because he takes an arrow in the back and is distracted. No, just to, to metagame that... Like, I mean... Two beco still becomes a ten, so with a an That's inspiration is is not outside the realms of possibility yeah, of well, hitting. Just yeah, okay. Just saying. Well, fuck it, let's burn an inspiration. I'm just saying. Four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Literally just misses. That's okay. Just. It's because why would I get to hit something? You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the biggie boy will try to attack you. Me. Sixteen misses, right? Misses, yeah, but I can't repost him so. Yeah, you've used your reaction. Yeah. And he's also doing he can't, mental he, spells. Yeah, so he also can't. I don't think he can. He can't, he can't. Oh, he wasn't. I thought he was beaking at me. Oh, uh, Beaky Boy. Beaky Boy, yeah. It was like. I thought you said the big boy. No, Beaky Boy tried to like tentacle like t jellyfish you, um, but it missed. Uh, so then it can't beak you because you're not uh, you're not grappled. Nice. I'm going to um, report Spore's mic to, on his turn throw a rock at that one. Well, fucking I will we'll do. We're at the top of the initiative. Sid, it's your turn. So with my bonus action, yeah. I'm going to look directly. I know I'm frightened of him, but yeah. I'm going to look directly in the eyes of uh, Bellacor, and I'm going to drink the potion of cause fear. Nice. Even if it doesn't succeed, like, he'll feel it, you know? Mm. I Yeah, I, I love that. But I want to do it kind of almost discreetly so he doesn't realize I'm drinking something to cause it. I'm just going to look at him, and I'll be like, I've done this to you. So he's bleeding now. Like twice. Like <laughs> Yeah. He Yeah, he passes. He looks at you and he's like, Ah, the little rat decides to try and fight back. But I sense your fear. I kind of look at him and I go, That is literally the worst insult you could give me. <laughs> That's more of a compliment. <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> Best you rats. Uh, and you have an action. Yeah, I'm frightened of him, so it's, I'm not going to attack him when there's other things there. I'm going to keep taking out his little dudes. Yep. So the thrall's still alive, though, but not looking great, right? Not looking great, yeah. And then there's Beaky Boy, and there's one Intellect of Error still on you. Yeah, those. That's, you. That still hasn't come out of his webbing anyway. Yes. So I'm just going to take down the thrall, I think. Go for it. Uh, yeah, that's a 28 to hit. That's a crit. Uh, that's 24 points of damage, too. Just, just full dead. Just like full dead. Yeah, so <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't fully scare Bellacor, but I go, but I'm, I just, as I'm looking him in the eyes, I just pull out my bow to the side and without looking, nice. just take out his throat. <laughs> you again feel this like shockwave of energy from Bellacor's mind. Uh, I need everyone to give me strength saving throws. Uh, Watch Con Greystone however, fail a strength. However, have <laughs> advantage due to Melody counteracting the lair effects. 17. 17 is enough. Need this DC is 15. Ooh. That's with my plus 9 to these. Oh, man. Fink just barely got 15. <laughs> Sid is standing strong. Nice. Rolled 19. Fink has four legs. So yeah, it's hard to Melody is also fine. Just, like, got a 15. That is the lair action as kind of you feel like literally an oppressive force like push you down. Like you are struggling to actually just stand up from like the, the pure psychic force of it. Yeah. The intellect of error tries to attack you. It needs to get out of his thing. It does need to get out of his thing. Read the... Yep, I will. It's retained until the end of his next turn, isn't it? And then, oh, I make a constitution saving throw. I should notice I wrote it. Yeah. Must make a DC 14 constitution saving throw which as it corrodes. If, which it fails. On a fail, it takes 2d8 acid damage. That's 12 points of damage. You see that this brain is like melting from like these like caustic like webs, like like melt and like sear into it. That's super it's, fucked up. It's, yeah. it's real fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> it's now poisoned. And it is poisoned and it was restrained to the, it's not oh, doing I anything. I love this. Bellacor is looking at me 
I take out his thrall, and then his thing beside me begins to just crow. <laughs> like, oh, That's incredibly side. metal. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the edge lord now? <laughs> More of these like memory stones start like to flare with energy as Melody keeps playing, kind of like, you know, trying trying to do their best, like counteract all this like negative energy. Sun is like pulsing out like these like, you know, literally like positive rays of sunshine, essentially, mm. as you're fighting down here. And as one of these other uh, memory stones in the second vat, like essentially almost like bursts and like flares the energy, like another another vision flares into, into your minds. Washes over us. You're standing in a ramshackle mining village. You survey the people that you love limping, metaphorically speaking, instead of the great stride that your people are known for. You feel a hang of loss as your heart is heavy and you think about the friends that didn't make it turned to stone maybe two weeks ago. You go to sleep that night and experience the worst nightmares of your life. And at the end of them, a voice calls to you. Come to me. Let me share in your pain. Let me feast on it. You feel compelled to leave. You stand up in the middle of the night, walk down into the mines, walk and walk going deeper. Ah, a light dweller. Finally, my master will be pleased. Tell me, what secrets does your mind hold? Vision. Fades, you're back in the room. Fucking everything's going mad. Mike's standing over you, con or standing where you were before you like went uh, invisible, ran up to attack. Like fucking hell's gonna throw it. Who am I throwing rocks at? What's it? Uh, what? the, the Be- big lad. Be- Beaky boy or Beaky Be- boy? Be- yeah, yeah. He fucked Beaky boy up with a rock. Oh, fuck Beaky boy with his rock. It's a fucking twelve on the dice. That's gonna be enough to hit. Nice. Fucking four points of damage. Like, like that fucking bird brain. You shit. Yeah, you stupid beak brain. <laughs> Bird brain is actually such a good insult for you. I fucking am. Um, it's just truthful. <laughs> yeah, it's just an accurate description. He walks forward uh, towards where you are, Connick, because you're like now down in like in the thick of the things. Actually, you're not because like the, the two Belcorians are dead. It's just the bird brain. Mm. Mike kind of like grabs another one of the smaller potions. Like fucking get that down you. Come on, Yo, fucking fuck you. Yeah. Get fucking get in you. Fucking get in you. Yeah, that's uh, six points. Yeah, nice. Fucking. Yeah, fucking get him, yeah? yeah? Yeah, Rat Boy, come on, it's your turn. Fucking, ah, uh, let's, let's get this prick. Yes, Mike. <laughs> fucking, let's get this prick. It's Fink's turn then? Yeah. Yeah. Be- Beaky Boy's still alive, right? Beaky Boy is still alive, just about, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he'll take the advantage from the attack, you know? Yep. Take that thing out. Is 15 gonna hit? 15 is just gonna hit, yes. Ooh, okay. Actually, sorry, no, 15 comfortably hits. Oh, okay. 14 points of damage. It is almost it. It, like, got... Yes, again, water gun just flies out, um, kills him like, like, or not kills him, but like, just like absolutely sprays him. Like, it's like real, like, clung together. It's like a bunch of like wet hair. So it's not, it's yeah, tentacles it's like, like a, aren't moving as it's well. It's like a gunk shot. Like, yeah. <laughs> Belcore, again, because I keep forgetting because I'm an idiot. I'm not used to using using legendary actions that you guys will use as legendary <laughs> action at the end of Fink's turn. He always uses it at the end of Fink's turn. It's because yeah. it's because Belcore's next. I'm like, oh yeah, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> They are, he again tries to throw a knife at Melody, which misses. It is then his turn. No. Yeah, I actually agree with Ryan on this one. Skip it. Yeah. Skip Bellicor kind of like skip it. levitates backwards, lines it up. Um, so he sees Mike, Han. Give me a, just roll a d20. 1 to 10, Fink is not in the line. 11 to 20, or sorry, the other way around. I'll let Ryan t- roll it because he's... Yeah. 11 to 20 he he's not on the line 16 nice but he will get the because you guys are essentially together mike and you are together are clumps and he'll just line it so that he can hit sid and you see Wait. sparks of lightning so he's hitting here uh, as he casts lightning bolt in a massive line streaks down uh through the lab uh, at you all you need to make dexterity saving throws dc 15 that's gonna hit some of his boys as well isn't it the one next to think um, the one next to Sid. there is Yes, but I think he's essentially written that off because he's like, <laughs> that, that thing is fucked. <laughs> uh, sorry, what did you say the save was? Uh, 15 and the dexterity saving throw. I'm going to use inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, saved. Who passed? Uh, Everyone? Both of us. Uh, you take 18 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that is his turn. Con, you are up. Right. I am going for, again, I'm going to table spring at him. 
And you can, you don't have to, you can use two things of inspiration if you want. That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm breaking all the rules for inspiration in this game, in this fight, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just, um, you can just, it's a pool, you can use it. Uh, okay, in that case, I'm, yeah, I'm going to table spring at him again. Yep. And I'm going to swing. He's actually, you don't need to table spring as much because he had to come he had down to lower to be able to line up this shot. Yep. Oh yeah, you can table Even spring. Even if it means off. I can spring up and yeah, come yeah, down yeah. on you can, him. You do a, you Final can, Fantasy you, VII Braver style. Yeah, you can do a nice arc. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, okay. First attack. Oh, 19 uh, plus 8. Hits. Hits. I am probably going to blow two inspiration to try and get the crit on this. That won't work. No. Yeah, it's. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Just start with one. Start. Yeah, good shout. Okay, here's the first one. So, sorry, what are you at at the moment? Oh, uh, sorry, 19, 19 plus 8. Oh, yeah, yeah plus 8, sorry, like so 27. 27. That's a crit. Oh, that's a crit? Okay. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a distracting... St- I, f- I forgot my own rules. <laughs> <laughs> a distracting strike. A distracting smite. Smite. Mm. So this is going to be 4d6... No, sorry. This is going to be the 2d6 plus 6 plus 4d8. Doubled. So, yes, doubled. And you can smite and distracting at the same time. You yeah. can, you yeah. can play it to anything. So, okay, I'm going to roll this up. Nice. my own head. So, the initial physical contact. Yes. Nine. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Plus six brings it to 15. Smite damage. Oh, <laughs> six and five. So, with the initial attack, the distracting smite, uh, that is... 48 points of damage and the next person to attack him gets advantage on the roll. You proper just cleave into you have like like he is bloody he is wounded now like he is hurt. Fantastic. Right. So landing down just beside him I'm going to first off bonus action second wind. Yeah. I'm going to heal myself for five points of damage Mm -hmm. and then I am going to action surge and hit him with a second distracting strike. Go for it. I am going to be a very distracting boy. Holy <laughs> sh- <laughs> shit. <laughs> Another nat 20. It's like the dice were like, you gotta end this. We have yeah. rolled an insane number of nat 20s in the past three episodes. Like, yeah, I feel like I should be documenting insane. them. insane. Right, anyway. So yeah, another distracting strike that is 15 points of damage plus 6. 21 points of damage doubled. Doubled. 42. 42 points of damage. I have almost done 100 damage in this turn. Ha ha ha. Fuck you, Bellicor. You never should have zombified me. Jim, how would you like to try to end this fight? Right. So with that second strike, I aim it at his feet to knock, to kind of spin him in the air. Mm -hmm. Cartwheel. I'm going to grab him as he comes around. I'm going to grab him by the arm and I'm going to pull him into a like a headlock. You watch the behind the back headlock? Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got like him like a sleeper hold. Like a sleeper hold. Yeah. I got him like that and um I whisper in his ear and it's like, right, you had your one shot. I got back up. That was my one shot. So if you don't mind, and I'm gonna take out the spores that I got from Mike. I'm gonna just pour it all over his face and mm-hmm. into his tentacly mouth. Yeah. And then I'm going to hold him in place and be like, son, get over here. Son rushes over you see that she seems to be like because she's been like close to all these visions like it, you don't get the feeling that like she's in control of how these things she seems to be like all of this like mental energy that's stored in these memory stones is kind of like sparking out and like she is just like basically acting as a conduit for them mm. so she's like struggling but comes over and a final vision exudes as as she does so you are seeing up to now a very familiar lab or lair and you see two figures talking and one of them is someone also in purple robes someone that you recognize as a member of the hoots force can't remember his name his name is maynard maynard i knew it sounded like a wine gun now a large influx of energy into this plane has been detected recently and with that usually comes further mutations tell me have you experienced any further developments with your psychic abilities let me show you and like you kind of get the feeling that Belcor tries to like flex against Maynard and he kind of just like gets shut down he's like do not overstep yourself experiment B my mind is off limits for the likes of you nevertheless I can sense that your powers have indeed grown stronger what was that I'm a intruder I will send my own experiments after it 
very well. You see and experience horror as from a nearby workstation, one of these intellect devourers springs into motion and rushes up towards that you, you know, someone that you now recognize as a drow. You see from their position as they turn and run away and you feel their horror and panic as blood rushes as, as they begin to flee. You feel a sharp sting at the back of their neck. You feel as if your body should go limp, but it doesn't. You calmly stand up and you walk back towards the lab. You're terrified. You've lost all connection to your body. Hmm. Excellent work, B. Here, experiment with these. See what you can do and how your powers interact. Let me show you how it works. And from his cloak, he takes a purple crystal. Same type that was used to steal your memories of Hovden. The memory fades. You scream silently, trapped within your own brain. Like, <sighs> son, like, kind of, like, kind of reeling as, like, crying as she's seeing all these, like, horrible things that her twin has been a part of. But, like, Melody kind of, like, still playing, like, encouraging, trying to, like, do their best. Like, now that, like, you've, like, restrained Bellacor, like, his, like, aura is, like, essentially, like, dissipated. You're no longer scared of him, uh, Sid. Uh, she runs over and it l- looks at you. Sorry, son does? Yeah. Now, hit him with every good memory you've ever had of him. You see that they kind of, like, lock eyes. And, like, you guys you can't fully see the images because she's, like... Well, she can't get into his brain. He's not like part of the report spores and he mm. hasn't gotten into hers. She is like essentially putting them as close to his the eyes. Or as goggling. Is yeah. like it's the only thing that he can see. And she's just like you, you just see all these lights like flicker, 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 flicker. Can I speak to him as this is happening? One hundred percent. You can do whatever you want. This is how you're finishing him. All right. I'm saying, Bellacor, I know what happened. I know you've been dealt an incredibly shitty hand, and life will deal incredibly shitty hands to us but that does not mean that we have to be shitty you've fallen out of balance you've been influenced by Maynard I know he's a prick I know you cannot like him but look at your sister look at son look at how much you mean to her that she was willing to fight her fears and come down here to try and bring you back she's your family and if for no other reason than you have one person left in this world Please do not force us to take this next step. You can come back towards us. You can come in the right direction. You can make the world better. It doesn't have to be fear. Look, remember the joy you felt with her. Just focus on that. You see as like Bellacor is basically forced to look at everything that he has lost. Give me a persuasion check. (laughs) Sid has an arrow knocked just in case this goes sideways. 14. I'm going to blow the whole pool on this. Might as well. It's 21. 21. DC was 20. <sighs> you see that Bellacor just... His physiology and shape and form has changed so far beyond human. But he still kind of like does the closest approximation of what his form can do to just openly weeping. And he just like... You can tell like the fight is gone from him. He's like, he's like bleeding out. He is like wounded. He is like this like arcane energy that has like coursed through Sun is like fueling her visions or, you know, for her illusions. And, you know, are just having such like a profound visceral effect on him that he just like goes limp and just like falls over and just like starts like sobbing. I am. Um, I lay on hands. He kind of like looks up to you. And he's like, After how much you've lost, how did you do this? That's just it, Bellacor. I mean, I lost everything. Everything I possibly knew. And after everything we've experienced in the last few months, I have to stop and think, look at all I've gained. I, I met Sid. I met Fink. I met Melody. We had adventures. I met Mr. Fisher. <coughs> it's just, it doesn't have to be. You may have lost everything, but that doesn't mean you lose yourself. You still exist and you still have an impact on the world. You can go through life and you can start again. I mean, I've made new friends. I've made a a band. We can't settle on a name, but, you know, we're doing well, you know? And you haven't... Call yourself the mics? Uh, I I will take it under advisement. I'm just saying, losing everything doesn't have to be the end. It can be as much a clean slate as anything else. It's not your fault you lost everything. And to that end, I say, maybe you haven't lost as much as you thought. Your sister standing in front of you. Your parents, 
who, yes, I can see from your point of view, you think it, they may have abandoned you, but they didn't. They did what they did to keep you safe. And Sun can show you that. But don't let this be the end. Let it be the first step. Let it be the first step in a direction that's much better. And I'm going to heal you now in the hope that you'll go forward and pay that forward and help other people. We're helping you now. You lay on hands. He looks up to you. No fight. you just full of like confusion, fear, sadness, like, everything. And like more emotion is coming into him than just this fear of loss. Mm. And that is where we will end that monster episode. Well done, Dylan. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Holy shit. Fuck, I thought you were dead. Man, I fully thought so I was I was like <laughs> he's he's gone like i didn't think i didn't think i was gonna hit with all of those attacks of that that first opening volley yeah when i was watching you roll and i was like you rolled like it it was kind of i was watching it and then it occurred to me how many dice you were rolling and i was like are they all for me (laughs) and i was just watching your face get like grimmer and grimmer i was like i shouldn't have trash talked this lad so much i shouldn't have you know fuck me fink and i were both down Mm. to about 15 points so and that opening shot ryan yeah, holy fuck. First shot. Both of us did about 100 damage to this dude. Yeah. yeah, he had 100, Jeez. he had 150 HP. And we took him down in four hits. Yeah. Uh, between us, like two turns. Yeah. yeah. Wild. Like wild. See, Man that was Prince. the whole thing. That was insane. I had- That's why I fully thought, like, I'm going to get three, ed- two- I'll prep three visions because I probably expect that this thing will go three rounds. Yeah. Because I knew, like, I knew I had my two plays for attacks and stuff. But like, fuck me. I really, really thought you had me there. Cause I knew my play. I knew I had I had two good combos, wombo combos I wanted to use on him. Yeah. And I was like immediately stun locked for the entire fight. Yeah, like, he that that's all his strength was was get people stunned, take over their minds, use them to fuck other people. That mm. that was my entire game plan, you know? Because it's the only thing he can do well. Yeah. Uh, and it's what it's all of his experiments and things can do too, because they're all built in that same way. But man, when you it's the intelligent saving throw got you. Like that was the yeah. See, that's it was, that, it's it was funny first they, blast, Like the saving throws are what kept me safe from him the whole campaign. Yeah. And then face to face with him, they just buckled on me. Like, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. Thanks for listening. <laughs> well. <laughs> That was a fucking shit show from beginning to end. Um, But as always, thank you everybody for listening. I'll keep it nice and short this time because you've been through a big old ordeal there, just like myself. So look, thank you so much for listening. Tell a friend, leave us a review, and hopefully we'll see you in either Dublin Comic Con or our own live show. Details on our website. Thank you very much, everybody, and stay dangerous.